subscribe to Gizmo Times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon. Hey guys, welcome to Gizmo Times. This is Chetan and this is the Xiaomi's Redmi Go smartphone which is going to launch on 19th of March in India and we've used this phone for about 7 to 10 days about 8 to 9 days actually and uh, with the geo sim as a primary one though this is the second sim uh, that i have the primary one always goes on uh, the other phones that's mostly the ones that we test for a longer run and the geo sim was on this one so here this video is particularly about the faq of this phone the most important questions that you guys have uh, in the unboxing video in the gaming video as well and so here's everything about the xiaomi redmi go starting with the specs the phone comes with a 5 inch hd display Snapdragon 425 along with the Adreno 308 GPU, 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB internal storage, expandable micro SD card slot uh, storage but that is dedicated as well and there's a dual SIM slot and 3000 mAh battery with the 5 e 1A charging and uh, the 8 megapixel rear camera with the LED flash 5 megapixel front facing camera. So these are the basic specs. First question that you guys had was about the dual voltage. So this has two SIM card slots, but only one SIM supports the Volti, that is the 4G Volti network. That's the first SIM card slot that is on the top. That would support either Geo or Airtel or any network has the, that has the Volti. And the second one is only for the 2G networks. So in case you have two Geo SIM cards, that won't work here. And if you have your Airtel as the first SIM and you wanted 4G network on that, you'll have to use it on the first SIM card slot itself. So this does not have dual voltage and that is because of the Snapdragon 425 which does not support dual voltage networks. Next was about the gaming performance. Some of you guys missed out the gaming review that we did and had commented about which games were possible to be played on this smartphone in the unboxing. So uh, we tried playing Free Fire, it did play well with a few lags and PUBG Mobile cannot be played on this. All the basic other gaps uh, such as Subway Surfers, uh, Temple Run 2, Minion Rush, those games can all be played well uh, without any issues, without any lags. But games like Free Fire did struggle a bit uh, still for uh, a phone that is priced under 5000 rupees. That is what we expect the phone to be at. Uh, this is quite a good performance and for the day to day performance of the smartphone, it has no issues at all. Except when you try to do a lot of multitasking. When there are apps in the background, you see those uh, minor uh, lags. You know, trying to switch between the apps, it takes about a second or two sometimes to uh, switch between those two apps. Especially that is with the camera app and the other heavy ones like Maps Go. Even though Maps Go is not a heavy app, though still it had that minor lag. And uh, that was a time of uh, two seconds between the two apps to be switched. Next is about the cameras. You guys asked, uh, how's the camera quality of uh, the Redmi Go? Does it actually offer anything there? So to be frank, uh, I did not have any expectations here. 8 megapixel camera on the back though, it's just a number 8 megapixel with f2.2 and uh, 5 megapixel camera on the front. It's not such a good camera and it's not that bad as well. So it's something that you don't have to really have any expectations here. It's just that it would do its job and with the HDR as well, it doesn't pop up the colors. Uh, it's uh, The HDR actually is taking it closer to the real life colors and that's good. Not more than that, if you're trying to take some amazing shots with this, forget it, it won't do that. Next is with the video recording here, that's one good thing, both the cameras can take 1080p videos at 30fps and that's good, uh, sometimes you might need those uh, larger resolution uh, footage to save and that can be done with the Redmi Go, you can take the 1080p videos with both the front facing camera as well as the rear facing camera. Also we tried doing the Skype calls as well as the WhatsApp video call with the front facing camera, the quality came out to be decent. Next is about the apps uh, available, what are the Android Go applications available for the Redmi Go? So let me show you directly, it's Facebook Lite uh, uh, firstly, then it's the Assistant Go, the Go variant of the Google Assistant, then there was Gmail Go, Google Go, as well as uh, Maps Go and YouTube Go. So these are the Go apps, there are some more that you can take out uh, from the Play Store, but these are pre-installed. Apart from that, there was me drop that was pre-installed. There was also the cleaner app. Uh, Xiaomi feels that you might sometimes need to clean the uh, background apps so that uh, it doesn't hamper the performance. So there's a cleaner app also given here and this FM radio as well. So the FM radio can be uh, played with if you uh, place a 3.5 pin into the headphone jack and uh, FM radio is also pre-installed here. So these were the pre-installed apps uh, that were given here. The launcher here is called uh, the Mint launcher. It has a couple of things that you can change. You can change the icon pack here, you can change the scroll bar layout. Also you can lock the home screen layout and uh, add installed apps to the home screen automatically. So these are a few things that you can do with the Mint launcher. Next question is about uh, whether it is a dedicated micro SD card slot or a hybrid slot. So it is a dedicated micro SD card slot. We tried only up to 32 GB so I can't say whether it would support more than that. I read it somewhere that it up to 128 GB supported but I can't claim that since I tried with the 32 GB card and it did well, work well. Next is about the security. Is there a fingerprint sensor on the Redmi Go smartphone? No, as you can see it's a plain back. Uh, it's all plain and uh, there's no fingerprint sensor. 
but along with that there's no face unlock as well and again it might be too much to ask in this price range if you want a fingerprint sensor or face unlock for those security options it has a basic ones that's pattern pin and password so you don't get more than that it's just those uh, options and you don't have a fingerprint sensor on the Xiaomi Redmi Go smartphone next is about gesture features that are available on the phone uh, so again uh, since this is closer to stock Android those uh, stock Android features should be here so we try to check it out under the system settings there is one thing that's jump to camera so if you press the power button twice it would jump to the camera application and uh, this is how it would work so if you are on any screen even if uh, it's a turned off screen pressing the power button twice would actually open the camera application for you and uh, that's how you can uh, try this out and the next one is if you go into the display settings there were a couple of options under display settings the first one was uh, the tap to wake so double tap to wake is the option that you get here to wake up the screen so if you are uh, on the lock screen or when the screen is turned off double tapping on the screen would actually wake up the screen so that is one more gesture that is given here and the last thing is about the ambient display so you can turn off this option turn on this option from the display settings where it would wake up the screen whenever you have a notification it's not a gesture you can't use it but if there is a notification the screen would turn on and that would let you know that uh, uh, there's a notification here and that is because of the absence of the LED notification light. So that was the next question as well and that's the answer. There's no LED notification light here and it's the ambient display that would wake up to let you know there's a notification here. And about the ports that are offered here, there's a micro USB port towards the bottom, the microphone and the speaker grill towards the bottom. On the right are the buttons, on the top is the 3.5mm headset jack and the secondary microphone. On the left are the two SIM card slots as uh, uh, said earlier and on the back are the camera and on the front there's a camera as well as the earpiece grill and the sensors here. So the sensors that are offered here are firstly the accelerometer, the gravity sensor, the ambient line sensor as well as the proximity sensor. So these are the four sensors that are offered in the Xiaomi Redmi Go. Lastly how good is the battery of the smartphone? First thing it's a 3000 mAh battery so specs wise not a huge battery when we talk about the current day specifications of the budget phones most of them have started offering 4000 or even 5000 mAh battery uh, but this is a very basic phone 3000 mAh battery should do the job since there's not a lot to ask from the processing power here and we did get about one day of usage since it was a second day sim card I don't always keep using this phone and I did try to play the games uh, occasionally try, try to watch videos play music and have the phone connected with Wi-Fi and data network sometimes. So the phone did quite well, about a day's usage and 4 hours a bit more than that of screen on time every charge. So that is with the battery but the charging was a little disappointing. 5E1A is the charging support that is given here, not more than that. So it's only a 5 watt charging, it would take at least a couple of hours to charge the entire battery. Sometimes even uh, we found it to be 2 and a half hours of charging to charge the battery fully from 0 to 100. So this was the FAQ of the Xiaomi Redmi Go smartphone. If you still have any other questions, you can comment down below with that question and we'll try to answer you then and there. Uh, since the phone is launching on 19th and I want you guys to have all the information before you try to buy one for yourself. So this was the Xiaomi's Redmi Go smartphone. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.